and here I am again in Kaimursa on the walls of Chester continuing the Chester adventures on Tuesday 26th of March 2013 picking up where, from where I left off last Thursday walking down the water tap from the water tower down to the race course onto the castle well not onto the castle but <laughs> anyway I'm a bit muffled because I've got my scarf up because as you can see it's snowing again lovely but there we am and we're heading towards I think it's Watergate the Watergate no not the film but an actual gate thing one of the gates over Chester Road anyway here we go hi ho let's see what we can see there we go said it was the water gate and up we go right there you go there's the water gate in and there's the road out to Sealand and Wales that's a view into the city centre hey and the sun shining this lovely snowy day and before me we have just the race course on man steps ha just the race course and some road works going on so I think I'll pause it there and there's the race course with the rail line and backing up behind it the river River D looks like they're preparing for an event uh, yeah <laughs> a, a race course what would it be I wonder probably a bake sale <laughs> like Captain Kybird and his jammy dodges anyway less said about that the better that's in the past the future is Vikings Vikings in Chester yeah you'd expect Romans but no the Vikings are gonna raid it anyway talk about that later right now glorious sunshine and I'm pretending myself against the snow because last time I did this walk in the snow my boots got uh, wet and I was in bed for a week because I swallowed a snowflake <laughs> so I bought myself a brand new wraparound scarf and I'm taking no chances I've already had blue cheese for breakfast and a tomato and a Nutsi grain bar and uh, the last of the Beecham's so we're actually moving towards a, a little observation post which tells you a bit of history about how this used to be well let's see there we go capturing the past uh, it used to be part of the port so you can see where the river is down there and uh, it's an ancient harbour one of the busiest ports in Britain but it seems to across the Roman Empire Huh. Brilliant. So there you go. A nice little bit, brief bit of history. And uh, it's one of the oldest race courses. There we go, we are here. And there's the river. That's Northgate, Eastgate, Southgate, and Watergate. Somewhere around there. Yeah. there you go nice little piece of history and just ahead going to be moving off to the castle any second in the meantime take a moment enjoy the view lovely and here we are at Chester Castle there you go how's that walking along the walls now and uh, there's a the governor bridge over the mighty river day 
and here we go some more info noble and steady building uh, first castle in 1070 castle was built in 12th and 13th centuries uh, there we go some nice pictures for you how's that and some sunshine on this snowy day 26th of March 2013 that's our log date well when it's gonna get vlogged I don't know we shall see what we shall see but another great Chester adventure ah nice and that's looking uh, south Hanbridge uh, that kind of area so lovely and there's another shot of the castle okay and if I can get this right there's me by the castle way okay I'll have to see how that turns out <laughs> you'll probably think who is that weird person oh look and a pigeon taking a dive bye bye pidgey okay there we go next destination down to the river yeehaw there's another nice shot of the girl on the bridge just over the river just following it along now and we'll be going down and joining it shortly so I could actually go down over the bridge and along the walls or go over the river uh, choices choices so many choices oh and did I say there's another shot of the castle lovely <laughs> well, I think that's the last one uh, Chester Town Hall just ahead and just going for a stroll down by the riverside lovely and here we go over the last bridge the last gate looking into town looking out over the river and out to Chester and there is the mighty river D oh. How glorious is that on a glorious sunny day? Oh, there we go. Oh, fantastic. There you go. Bridge gate, the old D bridge. Fantastic, and that is the River Dee, lovely, starting out in the middle of Wales, crossing down past Gangothran, all the way through Cheshire, and ending up past the Wibble Peninsula, and out. So there you go. A bit of a snowy adventure. Makes it atmospheric. Makes it brilliant actually. And just stand there and watch the world go by. Or at least just to go by. Ha! Anyway, there we go lovely and I hope I haven't swallowed a snowflake today but even if I have it's worth it just for this shot definitely but there you go another Chester adventure how about that right time to move on and wrap things up Just take a second. And there you go. Almost back to where we started a week ago. Oh, last Tuesday. Went up the east side, then the north side, then the west side, now the south side. 
chest of walls completely within a week well mind you I've done it in a day but it's recharging the battery and uploading the memory on this camera limitations of technology and my own uh, lack of skill in editing now you could actually go further and go along the opposite bank and go all the way up to Greens Park from a footbridge or you could actually go even further which I haven't done before but I'm sure I will do at some stage and you can actually get cruises along the River Dee that'd be interesting and I've gotten a ferry across the Mersey but I've not sailed the boat across the Dee yet yeah there's a couple of guys doing exactly that right there lovely so there we go there's Hickory Smokehouse bar and restaurant lovely riverside walk and we're almost back to where we started which is great I've gone full circle but then when you go around the walls you usually do <laughs> so I think this makes the tenth circuit I've made although like I said due to the limitations of technology it's taken me a week to do it and my own technical disabilities <sighs> all right lack of technical skills might be a more PC way to explain it but there you go I'm just hopeless with technology what can I say <sighs> well there we go it is the end but still you carry on as Samuel Beckett once said well it is the end but the moment has been prepared for as the fourth doctor once said and there we go full circle once again looking back on the journey ah, and the sun's out lovely okay well thank you very much for joining me hopefully this will be edited into some kind of complete form so just taking the moment there we go the mighty rushing river now all I've got to do is go along the Mersey <laughs> Yes, that'll probably be in seven parts, that one. But we shall see what we shall see. Onwards and upwards. This is Ian Kai Mercer. On Tuesday, the 26th of March, 2013. About, oh, maybe 9.30-ish, give or take. Wishing you a happy Easter because I'm sure this will be after Easter probably <laughs> got Tiglet's time travel adventures coming up and I've got some excellent shots for that I'm really happy about that so the seagulls it seems happy seagulls and I'm just taking a moment down by the river lovely so thank you for joining me once again. Hope you have a great week. Toss off for now, as Tigger would say. Right, onwards. <laughs>